I first learned about Love Has Won through an online Facebook page. I made the decision to go and, and visit them. When I got there, it was a beautiful ranch. Amy's the main leader. I did believe that she was God while I was there. And the first day I was there, somebody was sent away. So right off the bat, I was a little confused about what I was getting myself involved in. I was told that I was embodying different lower energies and that I had to transform them. You had to follow all of the rules. You stayed up till at least midnight. You wake up at five, no exceptions, every day. You're not supposed to sit. They claim that if you weren't in motion, that you were taking energy from Mother God. You'd have very limited sleep. I do see it as an attempt to brainwash. It was sleep deprivation, mental manipulation. I was not allowed to see Mother God the first two weeks that I was there. They claimed that I had to reach a higher vibration of energy before I could visit Mother God. When I did go in to see Mother God for the first time, it was odd to see someone frail in a bed in front of you. She says that she's paralyzed. She had been carried from the bed to the toilet. She never left her room. I do feel Amy has a drinking problem. She consumed beer all day long. Amy would perform what she expressed was an etheric surgery. She did claim that she could remove tumors, kidney failure. She would gather funds through performing these surgeries. I've heard talk about money in certain accounts. I was blown away. She claimed in one of them was over $400,000. And another one I heard was 100,000. I do think Amy's running a scam. Two months into being with the group, I left all my belongings behind. I kind of made a quick getaway. When I got in the plane to come home, everything hit me all at once, like a ton of bricks. Wow, this is not what I thought it was gonna be at all. It's way more extreme. I feel this is a dangerous group to anybody's mental health. Well, Ashley's joining us now virtually. Ashley, tell me this. What were you looking for when you went to join this group to begin with? They were uh, looking for peace and unity and love on the earth, especially during these times. And that was something that I resonated with. Why did you feel the need to leave quickly, leave all your belongings behind and bail without notice? Well, once I realized that they were using uh, mental manipulation and sleep deprivation, things like that, uh, pitting other of us against each other, I realized that it was something that was going to be more mentally straining for me to stay and tell them, hey, I would like to leave. I felt like at that point, since I had been there with sort of my family, um, that it would have been easier for me to just make a quick getaway and not tell anybody because once you leave, uh, a couple of the members that have left ended up in danger. Ended up in danger, how? I know one of the members uh, ended up being found uh, near death. How long were you there? I was there for about two months. Oh, two months, uh-huh. And did you meet Amy while you were there? I was able to see her a few times throughout my visit. It wasn't very many, but it was a few times. Amy, do you use sleep deprivation and mental manipulation as, um, as is being said here? Absolutely, that is incorrect. Do I have boundaries for energetic? And the whole team can adhere to them or not. There's no like, you have to do that. 